warnings. They're in effect for several counties in New Jersey. This has been the point of emphasis, especially weeks after that monster storm that dumped so much water and, and caused those rivers to rise. We know a state of emergency is in effect for Patterson, so we've been checking on that. What is going to happen with this storm? Let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate. He's been monitoring the conditions in Patterson this morning. So, Phil, update us on where we are right now at 4 a.m. Yeah, well, this winter storm brought much rain and gusting winds across the tri-state area. As we were even traveling over here this morning, we saw some of that rain. Well, we are here on River Street, and we're keeping a close eye on many of these areas prone to flooding. Take a look right behind me. River Street is the name. Well, as you can see, this roadway simply turned into a river covered with water this morning, and it's still unclear at this hour if this water might have still gone out further. Well, right now, this is a live look at what we're seeing here on River Street. There are two cars there. It's unclear uh, if those cars might have been impacted by that water water. If you're going to be heading around here this morning, you definitely want to avoid this street. But there's several contributing factors from an already saturated ground and melting snowpack that we've been telling you about that's been left behind from the previous snowfall, which really could bring some more of this widespread flooding. Well, this will not help as we've been telling you all week long because the melting snowpack will only bring much water when the melting begin. And that's why we're keeping a close eye even on our rivers around here, like the Passaic and the Ramapo River, because at some point we can expect their banks to flood again. This is a live look here on river and that's why we can see that water creep up and when it creeps up it can unfortunately pour into communities and really create a headache for neighbors and we know that some New Jersey residents are definitely waking up with some headaches already as over 52,000 customers are without power this morning that's the very latest here in Patterson. I'm